Rockford Retirement Community was founded in 1971 by Elmo and Violet Young. Uh, we currently offer independent living, traditional assisted living, a memory support assisted living neighborhood named The Gardens, as well as a residential care rest home. Um, and what we're currently looking to do is bring to life a vision and a concept that we've been building over the past couple of years, and that's called Violet's Crossing. Violet and Elmo Young um, were um, a married couple. He was a uh, pastor and um, or minister and um, saw this vision of creating a retirement community for, for folks in the Northampton area. Unfortunately, Elmo passed away shortly before the building opened, um, but Violet was able to uh, be a nurse here. She lived here for several years and um, she is now the namesake for our newly planned addition, uh, Violet's Crossing. Um, she played a very important part in, in um, developing not only Rockridge and the namesake of Rockridge, but um, also holds a special place in all of our hearts. She was, she was our matriarch and, and uh, we wanted to honor her in a, in a special way. What we're really looking to do is fulfill a gap in aging services, one where there's a broad spectrum of different ways that people can afford uh, to live at these types of community. Currently, we have housing that, that allows people that need mass health. We also have housing that people pay for privately. By adding Violet's Crossing, we're going to be able to look at another sector of the population. Um, it's a rental, an independent rental community for ladies and gentlemen of about 62 years or older. And the affordability component of it really allows for um, people that have moderate income that maybe are at about $40,000 or so dollars a year in annual revenue or income. Um, and then their asset levels, we're looking at between $200,000, $300,000 or so thousand dollars with, with, again, what they have in their savings. Or, again, a home might be an asset within the different um, areas that they would pull from. We're really looking for folks that are in the uh, moderate income range. This is a, a gap in aging services that we're seeing um, not only in Massachusetts but across the country. You know, we understand people's need or want to be independent and, um, you know, we treat people with dignity and respect and make sure that that independence is um, something that we continue to offer for as long as possible. So with Violet's Crossing, you are able to really live as independently as you would like. You're able to, there are the full kitchen, so you're able to prepare all of your meals, meals if you'd like. If you have a cat or a small dog, you're able to bring them here to Violet's Crossing, so you're still able to take care of your, your pets and have those loved ones with you. You are able to have your car, you come and you go as you please. You're real, really able to be very independent. It's kind of a maintenance-free living. You know, the, the, the heat, the electricity, the, um, the snow removal, all those things are, are, are actually as part of the monthly fee. And then you have um, a couple of meals a day, two cafe meals daily, housekeeping every other week. The, again, the maintenance is, is provided, programming and activities, a certain um, limited amount of transportation. There's an on-site salon. Um, so with living at Violet's Crossing, people are still really able to be as independent as they'd like. There are certain amenities that come with and services that would come with the base monthly fee, um, which is again wonderful. One, it really helps pull people from their, uh, from their homes in terms of being maybe isolated. If you think about this winter, um, one of the uh, big things that people tell me is that um, they're lonely, they're depressed, you know, it's really hard to get out and about, especially in winter, um, if their family is not around, their family's working, and they miss being around people. And so being a part of a community, even if you're independent in one of the apartments at Violet's Crossing, um, there's still that sense of community around you.